Good morning, folks. Out right here in the shop, getting uh, a little work done. If you notice something that I got going on in the shop that just just ain't right, I I don't I don't have a boat anymore. I mean, I know you probably looked at that picture. And you're like, man, that dude's shop is totally a wreck, and that's true. I got a lot of work to do in here, and I have to do that every year. Next couple of days, I got to figure out what I'm, how I'm going to get organized for the uh, for next season. But today's video, this is what this is going to be about. I think uh, I think this is a much needed video. I hear you guys asking a lot of questions about this. If you saw my video from when I went down to Newberry a couple weeks ago, um, just kind of talking about what engine I was going to run this year. And um, if you guys, I know once, once we get towards the beginning of the year, towards the fall, a lot of guys start thinking about buying a new boat. And one of the most important things that when you're starting to buy a new boat is uh, where are you going to power it with? So today's video is um, a little sit down talk that I had with two other buddies of mine, John Hunter and also Anthony Gaglardi. We're just talking about engines. All three of us ran the exact same tournament rig this year, the 2018 season. Uh, we both, all three of us ran the Falcon 205, but we all ran totally different engines. Anthony runs the Evinru G2, I ran the Mercury Verado, and John runs a Suzuki. So uh, we're all just kind of sat down talking about our experiences with our motor, um, our engine that we rigged on our boats this year. So if you're looking to get a new Falcon, check out Bucks Island Marine. I'm gonna leave a link in the profile where you guys can uh, get in touch with them. Check out the inventory on the internet or maybe even give those guys a call if you're looking to repower, if you're looking to um, buy a new Falcon, that'd be a great place to start. So, you wanna know more about the G2, you wanna know a little bit more about my uh, Mercury Verado that I ran this year, or if you wanna hear about John Suzuki, check out this video. Uh, we're just gonna roll it over there next can see everything we had to say about our engines so we all run the same identical boat and uh, I think you know it really doesn't matter what engine you put on the boat it's gonna be an awesome performing boat we all obviously have our preferences Anthony has an Evinrude right yep I do have a G2 um, I've been with Evinrude for a long time I think that it's probably been Man, maybe 15 years or so. So you know, I, I grew up in the old HO, HO days, and right after the fix, and um, graduated to the G2. I forget how many years ago it's been now. That I guess four, maybe, maybe four years we've been in the G2. I don't know that, but I don't know it off the top of my head. After 18 years, it all kind of runs, mm -hmm. blends together. But um, that that every g2 um in particular on on this 205 is just it's to me it's just really impressive the the low end torque um yeah, that's one of the things that you know that every prides you know itself with the g2 is just how much low end torque we have with that engine without sacrificing uh mid-range and, and top end speed um fuel economy um the motor is really really good on gas it burns very very little oil and it's, it's a two-stroke um you know a lot of people still you know, to me, I see the advantages in having a two-stroke, and 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 there's some there's some advantages, you know, to having a four-stroke that they'll talk about, I'm sure. But you know, for me, um, you know, and a lot of people, and I don't do it so much where I live, but I do on my pontoon. I have a pontoon that I keep at my dock on Lake Murray, and and I do a self-winterization every you know every fall whenever we're done, and you know, with the, a couple shifts with the throttle on that one, um, you know, I can I can winterize it on my G2 out here. And, and that's not a G2 that I do that on, but my G2 here is just a push of a button, you know, on my on my little touchpad. And so, you know, if you live somewhere, especially a lot of people up north, they like to take advantage of that. Um, you don't want to have to take your boat into a dealer and have to pay them to winterize it for you. You can just you can do it with the push of a button. You know, at the start of the season, whenever you're ready to go, you just get in, you crank it up, and you go. Um, you know, that's that's one really good benefit. And and the no break in. You know, we've talked a little bit about the break in here today. Just I like the fact that I can get in my in my boat with my new motor and and just I can go you know I go fishing I don't have to worry about you know running certain RPMs for certain lengths of time it, the motor's going to run double oil you know for the length of time that it needs and after that it's going to you know everything's good to go and but I don't have to worry about it and so you know a lot of people don't have a lot of time you know we're kind of different we we got time to go out there and break an engine in and you know four or five hours out on the lake for us is is nothing but for a lot of people that might be 
you know, four hours on the lake, maybe a month's worth of, worth of fishing. You know, a lot of people just don't have that time. And so, um, especially if you live somewhere, like I said, up north where there's a condensed season, you know, that, that time is valuable to those people. So it's just, it's nice to be able to do that and not have to worry about that. And I can get in it and run. And you know, I know it's going to get me where I need to go and get me back. And uh, it's just been, it's been a really good engine and it just performs really, really well on that Falcon 205. I, uh, I'll let Brian go talk about Brian's got a yeah. Mercury. Yeah, so I, I'm probably, um, I run a Mercury, and this year is my first year running a Verado. And I kind of, I kind of toiled with that for quite a few months. I was always interested in, in a Verado, but I just wasn't quite sure of how it was going to perform on a bass boat hole. And it's especially, you know, I changed boats, manufacturers, and I changed engines in the same year. Um, but I've been really thoroughly impressed. What I was looking for, I wanted something with a little bit more bottom end torque. I wanted a little bit better hole shot. Um, and I tra I've been traveling a lot. I fished the FLW Tour, that's seven tournaments. And I'm also fishing the Bass Opens. That's another four tournaments, 11 tournaments. And I guide at home. So I literally go weeks on end using my boat every day. So. Even though a Pro XS never really used a lot of oil, I, I really didn't go through a lot of oil on that. Just um, not having to keep up with it, worry about it, period, was probably a big deal for me just because I put so many hours on the engine over time. Uh, but I've been so impressed. I always thought, to be completely honest with you, I thought of Rado was sort of like an old man motor. I thought it was sort of like a saltwater boat, like a charter boat type deal. Um, but that's a beast. That, that motor is is a true high performance piece of equipment it, it when you hit the gas on that pro four stroke it's time to go and i've been i'm running 72 73 miles an hour with that boat uh with the 250 verado but here's the thing that i'm most impressed with with that supercharged verado i run 72 73 with just me i run 72 73 with two people at you know if it's just a guy like me i weigh 155 pounds at, this guy is 255 pounds, 72 miles an hour. It just doesn't matter. If it's full tank, if I got my live wheels full, it's the same speed all the time. It's just got so much torque it, all the way through the power band that it just makes it the awesome tournament rig. So if you guys out there, you're thinking about maybe, eh, maybe I want a Verado, maybe I want a Pro XS, I would tell you, you definitely would not be disappointed in the 250 Verado for sure. It was the best move I ever made. Almost disappointed I didn't switch years back. Yes, sir. <laughs> Lost my contact. Oh, you don't need those. <laughs> so, uh, I personally, I run a Suzuki. This will be going on my third year in the Suzuki. And, uh, I mean, really, the, the thing that speaks most about the Suzuki is I've been in it almost three years now, and I have not had one single service call. We're, we're, I fished in the Elite Series the past two seasons on the FLW Tour this year. And there is no service crew. Um, all these other engine brands have a service crew 24/7 on the road. If something happens, uh, you can go get you can go get it fixed. And there's always some boats there. I, I personally don't have that, but I haven't needed it a single time. I do carry a spare uh, lower unit and just like a couple impellers just in case and some props. But I, I mean, I, I haven't had one thing. So that that should speak for itself right there. Three years running, not a single problem. And uh, a really good story I heard from one of the oldest Suzuki dealers that I know down at Lake Okeechobee says that he said that when he's been selling for 30 something years and when he sells a Suzuki engine, he just goes ahead and shakes the customer's hand and tells him goodbye because he knows he's never going to see him again, ever. Hands, hands down, end of story. Um, he's never seen a lower unit because that's the thing that happens the most is gear keys go out, lower units go out. Um, other than you know, impact, he's never seen a Suzuki lower unit come back. Um, they're just, they're super reliable engines, they're fuel efficient, they have awesome mid-range throttle, um, quiet, uh, there, there really isn't anything bad that I have to say about the engine. I love it. I have no plans in, in the near future to ever even consider changing. Uh, you know, that's the engine that I'm going to be running for the foreseeable future. And if, you're, if you're thinking about switching to the four-stroke, uh, and looking at a Suzuki, it's a little more affordable than all the other engine brands. Uh, they're quick, they're available, uh, so make sure you check them out if you're in the market.
Hey, so if you guys are looking to repower your rigs this year, check out Bucks Island Marine. I'm going to leave a link in the description box where you can check out uh, their website. You can look at some of their inventory. If you're looking to get a new Falcon, that's a great place to get a new Falcon. So if you guys have a Mercury, a Suzuki, or Evinrude, make sure you drop down in the, uh, in the comment section of this video and just share your experience with it. Let everybody else out there uh, that's uh, looking to make the decision to repower a boat or buy a new Falcon, maybe you guys can help them uh, pick the right engine package for them. Hopefully this video helps you out and helps you make the right decisions. So um, take it, do whatever you want to with it. I appreciate you taking time to watch this video. We'll get something else to talk about. Leave me a comment in the comment section. Make sure you subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. Peace.